Hello, thank you for having me. My name is Robert Heinecke. I'm the founder and CEO of Breeze Technologies. Um, we are a German technology leader in the field of modern air quality sensors, air quality data and cleaner action intelligence. Uh, that way we help businesses and cities globally to create a healthier environment and better cleaner action plans. And what we do is relatively straightforward. Uh, on the one side, we develop and deploy our own lower cost air quality sensors, uh, such as this one. And what we have done actually is move all the complexity from traditional air quality sensing, from the hardware um, into cloud, into software, into our, what we call our environmental intelligence cloud. So there we use advanced artificial intelligence to uh, calibrate the data from our sensors to greatly increase the accuracy and to re the reliability. And on the other side, then match make uh, air pollution challenges that we find with a catalog of more than three and a half thousand cleaner actions that we have sourced globally. Um, we've had some great projects in the past, uh, for instance, together with Microsoft, we built the densest air quality monitoring network in the world uh, in the city of Hamburg, where we're also based as a company. Um, or now with the uh, US uh, Department of Homeland Security, we're working on wildfire monitoring with real-time air quality data sets. Uh, besides Breeze Technologies, I'm doing a couple of other things. I'm also an advisor to the German Federal Association for Electric Mobility, as well as also to the French uh, Artificial Intelligence and City Planning NGO, uh, Urban AI. So, um, by trade, I'm a computer scientist. That's what I studied uh, at university. Um, after that, I spent some time in, in consulting, doing strategy and digitalization consulting. And uh, some of my time there was spent in, uh, in Turkey, in Istanbul. And that for me was the very first time where I experienced how heavy smog, heavy air pollution can really look like. Um, at some parts of my stay there, I could barely see the other side of the street anymore. And this was just such a shocking experience for me. Um, so having that impression, I tried to dig deeper into the topic of air pollution. And I just found there wasn't really a lot of data available. There was nearly no monitoring site, so there wasn't any data. And on the other side, there was also very little information available about the causes of the pollution as well as what the city was actively doing against it. So um, with my background in technology, I thought, okay, we, air quality monitoring solutions today are based on the paradigms from the 60s and 70s, yet we are living in the age of uh, digitalization, of the Internet of Things, of artificial intelligence. So I thought, okay, you can, you can probably help there. You can, you can try to use these new technologies that are now available, like artificial intelligence, like cloud computing, to bring air quality monitoring into the 21st century and thereby also help to uh, help the cities to, to figure out new ways of fighting air pollution. I think um, China is really, an, first of all, an important market for new green technologies, but also an important uh, global economic player of actually adopting uh, new uh, technologies for um, environmental protection and monitoring, but also on the other side, promoting these and, and bringing them uh, to the market. Um, because of the uh, huge significant economic scale of China, if a new technology, if a new standard gets adopted there, it, it kind of becomes a standard uh, also for uh, the world. Um, and on the other side, it's, it's, a, it's a huge market opportunity for green technology. So anything that gets adopted there suddenly has the resources and the means to also scale, uh, scale globally. So in that sense, um, I would uh, definitely recommend um, you know, young Chinese people, young people living in China, 
um, that are thinking about growing into green technologies to just do it. I think starting a company, starting a technology startup is really one of the greatest uh, learning experiences that you can do um, because you need to do everything yourself, obviously, as the founder. There is no corporate uh, back office that you can rely to uh, or rely on for, for anything. Um, and on the other side, it's also our future. So it's up to us to uh, somehow make it better and make, make our future cities more livable. So definitely, definitely go into this field. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.